Hey guys, so eBook is currently looking for new interns to join our team. So if you love writing or video production and you love food, drop us an email at hello at eBook.ashi and we'll hear from you soon. Hi guys, so I'm here with Sean and Ashlyn and we are on our way to First Stop's newest outlet at Downtown Gallery. So let's go! Hi, I'm Brian. I am one of the founders for First Stop. We sell Vietnamese-inspired cuisine. And we moved from Tanjong Paga, our previous place, to Downtown Gallery. The new location is, I think, more than 3,000 square feet. But it is a mixed-use space. Uh, besides the restaurant selling Vietnamese-inspired cuisine, we also have a dance studio. So you can eat and dance at the same time. <laughs> so today, uh, we will serve you guys chicken chop with dry noodle and also of course the Viennese coffee ice cream and uh, specially prepared uh, just for Ibo a giant bowl of pho which is a beefy's combo Do you think Ibo can finish it? I doubt so, I don't think so Challenge! So how confident are you all? I'm very confident uh, because firstly like... I didn't eat that and secondly anyone who has ever gone out on Ibo show with me will know that I can eat a lot <laughs> That was how I gained 10 kg when I joined TSM. Oh my god! Look, I'm not joking, I really gained 10 kg. Oh I gave up weighing myself. <laughs> Ash, I think we can finish it. Uh. <laughs> I think there's two evil writers and a hungry <laughs> So it's fine. Who do y'all think will win? On the count of three. One, two, three! Oh my god! Everybody is so confident! Who are steady cake? It's on! <laughs> Ready? One, two, three! Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! Holy mother of fun! <laughs> okay, so here are the rules. Each of us will get a bowl. We'll count how many bowls we can actually finish. And the person who can finish the most amount will win. <laughs> three, two, one, go! And they're off. Eating ridiculously quick for no apparent reason. Wait, I thought this was just a how many bowls you can eat or how fast you can eat competition. You thought wrong! Taking the lead is none other than Stephanie. Coming in second place is Ashley. Show you the slowest. It's a strategy. Yeah, please. Somebody said you are gonna win. I am going to win. That's why I'm taking it slow and steady. Two thousand years later. And Sean has called up and bumped Ashley in. <laughs> Oh my god! Hey, hey, hey. I'm still in the lead. Sean has caught up and moved on to his fourth bowl. <laughs> Fifth bowl, guys. Fifth bowl. Whatever. I regret my wonton leaf and my apple and the Hello Panda and the Ribino pastel. Oh my god! Wow, you are basically cheating. Is she cheating? Yeah, I cannot finish this. So who can I seem to add more food? You. <laughs> you <don't. laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. It's not about winning the battle, it's about winning the war. Alright, okay, give up, whatever. Okay, get out, let's go. Help me, I would like to call a friend. No friend. <laughs> I'd like to negotiate this spoon away. I'm not gonna make it past today. <laughs> I feel like I'm turning into fur. <laughs> My favorite of the whole dish is really the meatball. The meatball is actually made of minced beef and not with tendons or any other kind of parts. So that's why it can be very very meaty and very beefy for maybe some people. Mm. But I quite like it because it's very like packed. And also the meat slices, the beef shin. It's a bit like shabu shabu in some yeah. sense. You can see a bit of that fat marbling inside. I think the rice noodles are not my thing actually. I prefer noodles that like are chewier. Mm. Yeah. My favorite part was the soup. I think it helped make everything a lot easier to eat. Like mm. it really informed the entire dish. Mm. How we all rate this dish? I'll give it a 7.5. Mm. I'll give it a 7.5 too. Alright, on to the next dish. Okay, so the second dish is grilled chicken chop with dry noodles, served with a side of fish sauce 
and chili patty and a bit of lime. It's good grilled chicken when the skin is still a bit like stretchy. And I really love the spices here. So how would you rate this? 7 out of 10. I I'll would give, give it a 7, 7 well. out of 10. Yeah. I would think the fur is a better choice. On to the last dish of the day. Okay, so for ice cream, they have quite a few different flavours. But we chose three different types, including coconut, lemongrass and ginger, and their specialty Vietnamese coffee ice cream. Okay. Ice cream cheers. Oh. What's your favourite? I think lemongrass. Oh, uh, coffee coffee. It's one of the best coffee ice creams I've ever had. <laughs> Both lah. Okay, you have to come to try it for yourself, seriously. Yeah. Okay, so would you return to this place and who would you recommend this place to? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you just answered part A and like. I think here for everyone. Uh. There's no true. specific niche that they're targeting. You can even like come here for dessert. It might sound yeah. a bit weird. Yeah. But this actually is quite a dessert place. It's so like, I'll come nice. Here for yeah, I would come here for dessert too. Same. And like maybe try the drink. Uh. Mm. So thanks for watching our video. For more, you can check out over there. In the meantime, remember to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.